hey guys welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to reset your windows 10 firewall setting to default so sometimes we have changed our firewall settings uh, on our windows 10 computer so for that if you need to change to by default setting then you have to follow me so today in this video i will show you guys a three methods by which you can change your firewall settings to default so for that you need to go to your start menu first and after that type over there cmd now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator now click on yes and once you have opened command prompt window you have to copy paste uh, the command which i'll give you on my video description so, so the command is net sh adv firewall and then reset once you have done press enter and it will show you like okay that means the reset has been successfully done so the next method is you have to go to your start menu and type over there control then space then panel after that click on control panel and here you will get this window now on your right side corner make sure that it is view wise selected as a category so after that you have to click on network and internet and after that network and sharing center once you have clicked there you will get a option like windows defender firewall over there so click over there and after that click on restore defaults and click on restore defaults and click on yes so after done go to the advanced settings over there and if you have any created any inbound or outbound rules for your windows 10 computer then just click this option which is restore default policy after that click on yes after done click on ok and now close this window and the last method is you have to right click on your network adapter which is showing over there and go to open network and internet settings after done you have to scroll down and you will get an option like windows firewall so click over there and now you have to click on restore uh, firewalls to default so click that option and after that click on restore defaults and click on yes so now you're done so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video take care